Hey guys, looks like the legendary Sita banner has just dropped. I'm pretty excited about this one. Sita has always been one of my favorite characters in the Arcanian games. Um, and now she's got her legendary wing spear, which is pretty awesome. She is color sharing with Note and uh, legendary Fey, all of which provide some pretty good fodder. Um, or makes for some decent merge projects, so it's a pretty good time. I know a lot of people are telling us to skip this banner. Now that we know what the A Hero Rises banner looks like now, but I still want to get Legendary Sita because she's one of my favorites, so let's get in right now! Alright, first summon, let's go for blue. Yeah, are you guys happy about an all green banner? Because, um, I am. I, as I said before, backed... Alright, May. I backed, uh, Harmonized Azura because I don't have her. She's like the only unit that was in the top eight that I don't have because, uh, I don't know, I wanted to start spending less money, so I just thought, eh, I don't need that new Azura. I got Legendary, she's gonna get a remix soon. So, didn't go for her originally, but um, I backed her. I didn't want Fallen Edelgard to win because I really want the Green Dream to win, and it looks like it did. So, really excited about that. That, everyone's saying that that banner is gonna be super insane. And they're right. It's gonna be epic. I wonder how many. I wonder how many five stars I'm gonna pull. Uh, I guess I gotta start saving up. And I'm not just talking about orbs. I need to like set aside some money. Honestly, I, maybe I should like just put some money in stock market as like a little nest egg. And then when the banner comes out, I'll pull that money out. I'm not sure how much money I'm gonna spend on it yet. I guess it depends on how many orbs I uh, I save up in the meantime. It also depends on what comes out um, between now and the Hero Rises banner. Alright, so we didn't get anything super good in the first uh, go around, so let's keep going. In, in terms of who wins the entire A Hero Rises event. I really don't care too much. I, I personally think that it will be Ninja Corrin just because of how popular she is and how good she is. And I don't mind that because she is a great unit. But either way, any of them would make for great free units. Um... Yeah, I think most of them are pretty good. I'm a little sad that Dogger didn't make it through, because Dogger is probably one of my favorite uh, heroes only characters. Um, oh well, I still have my one copy, and that's that's all you really need for things like summoners duels, and I guess Ether Rays. I, I guess multiple copies of her wouldn't be too bad if you want to make a a def like a an anima defense team with multiple um, pathfinders, but eh, I don't want to whale like that. All right, ten summons in. We still haven't gotten anything yet. Let's see if this tenth one will. Nope, no smoke. It's just long queue. I wonder. If Longku gets a Resplendent, what realm do you guys think he would represent? I would think maybe... Um... Actually, I have no idea. He, com he comes from Chan Sin, right? Which is like a samurai country. I don't know. I guess it could be, could be like Moose Bell, I guess. 
that would be kind of cool actually but i don't know sometimes it's just so random like like some of them make sense for instance deirdre and milsofamer i think that's how it's pronounced that one just makes sense it's so fitting too but then there's something like um like Krom and Moosebell. I'm not totally sure how like flaming Krom is. I don't mind it, but it's just a little jarring. At least that's how I feel. You know, when we're talking about Long Q, yeah, I have no idea where he would be. <clears throat> All right, uh, haven't gotten anything good so far, but hey, sometimes that's just how the summoning experience is. At the very least, I got the- oh! All right. Legendary Edelgard. Speaking of Edelgard, who keeps fucking up and losing in the first round of Heroes Rises, here is Legendary Edelgard. Um, yeah, this is a merge. She, she does not have- any good inheritable skills to be honest attack res solo 3 is not it's not super rare honestly and I don't know how good armor strike 3 is in today's meta now that we have save skills so uh yeah this is a merge but I'm not complaining because a merge on legendary air guard is still awesome because she in my opinion is still a pretty good unit maybe a little unwieldy to use but I feel like once you get her going, she could just run over teams really fast. Awesome, so really happy about that. All right, keep going. When does the Hero Rises banner come out? Is it, is it March? Because I remember last year's came out in April. That's, I can tell because there was a huge spike in my spending that month compared to other months. So there's that. Um, if it comes out next month, I guess I gotta start saving up both orbs and money. I kind of want Oboro to get a resplendent because I'm not a big fan of her um, art. I mean, it's, it's okay, but uh, not a huge fan of it. Also, I know with- <clears throat> Oh my god, my voice. I know with Oboro, there is like a- I don't know if it's a mistake per se, or if this was intended, but there's like this weird thing- Yeah, look right there. Oh. Like, you can see right around here, her, um, her dress or cloak or whatever, it kind of clips, or, I don't know animation there, words, but I know it, they're not, the continuity's off. Like, they shifted it off by one. I'm surprised they haven't fixed it yet. They fixed a lot of other minor things before, but they haven't touched up that yet. Uh, someone pointed that out on Twitter, I saw, I was like, holy shit, I can't believe I never noticed. And now that I do notice it, that's the only thing I can see whenever I see her. Which is unfortunate. She deserves better. She's a tailor, for God's sake. You'd think her clothes would be better, but uh, maybe not. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Man, do you think... I know that... Faye doesn't draw nipples, so do you think they hid Hawkeye's nipples underneath those feathers? So many questions. Alright, um, so, so far we got Legendary Edelgard, which is a great pull. I wouldn't mind getting Malice, I never got her. Um, she seems like a fun unit to use. She's one of those, like, units where you give dragon flowers, I think. Uh, those heroes, not sure if they're gonna test- Oh my god. Not gonna- Not sure if they're gonna stand test of time or anything. 
because stats are easily power crept. I, I don't remember if she has any other uh, extra effects with the dragon flowers. Because I know Farina. I think it was Farina. I think she was like one of the first that came out with that um, dragon flower thing. And hers was just stats. There was no like any extra effect. So she just became a huge stat ball. But again, huge stat balls are going to be power crept down the line. In fact, she might even already be kind of power crept. And Benny's is awesome. Love Benny. Benny's just a huge tank. I I remember she, like him appearing in some or not him. I think his son Ignatius appeared a lot in like uh, Fate like Wi-Fi battles. I guess because he has like some of the best tankiness in the game. I remember facing a lot of them. They had like pa Pavis and Aegis, so I could barely touch them. It was annoying. Man, Wi Fi battles in the face was actually pretty fun. Kind of like summoner duels here, except with a lot less depth. Or I guess they have. Actually, I changed my mind. There's a lot more depth than heroes. Face is a single player game, it's focusing on the story, the Wi-Fi battle is just icing on the cake. Also it's not very fun when there's like hacked characters, like there was this, I remember there was this like person who, like their avatar was named Mario, they were uh, a girl Corrin, and their stats were just unbelievable. It, it, was, it had to be hacked, otherwise I don't know what's going on. But hey, this isn't the first time people hacked uh, stuff for the sake of Wi-Fi battles. I mean, you want to talk about hacking, giving everyone in, in Hulu in Shadow Dragon so they can't be touched. Pretty smart. Kind of wish I thought about that first. Alright, I think after this we're gonna we're gonna be at 9.5% for the five star focus uh, units. Just a little high. This has not been the best summoning in my life. Uh, but thank God for sparking with Fate Pass. It's not cool that they locked it behind Fate Pass, but I guess they are really pushing for that Fate Pass. not cool for my free-to-play account where I could spark but can't now I tried to do this thing where I had the fade pass on both of those accounts because they're both under my like Apple ID thing and it just kind of fucked up it uh it took away the fade pass on my main account and put it oh all right Tana. so many Tanas now it's awesome Was I talking about? Oh yeah, Fate Pass. Um, yeah, just you can't use Fate Pass on multiple accounts, even if you have multiple, I guess, Fire Emblem accounts under one Apple ID. It doesn't work. I confirmed it. It sucks. It it removed all my like monthly retention bonuses on my main account. That was not fun. I had to rebuild up to get those like Dragon Flower bonuses, which again is a really stupid bonus. I hope they give out more stuff in the future. I guess, I don't know, I'm always going to, I'm probably perpetually going to have Fae Pass just because, um, I like the resplendent heroes, and I'm kind of a, like, a completionist. I would, I think I define myself as a completionist more than anything else. So, um, yeah, probably always going to have Fae Pass. I have all the resplendents. I don't see that changing anytime soon. Man, our summoning is not going super well, honestly. We're at 10%. I really want to just get something so that 10% doesn't go to waste. Just something, man. I'll take even Sothis, honestly. 
I mean, not a jab against Sothis, but she's not the best unit. She's great fodder, because you can always use Times Pulse. I feel like almost any build could use Times Pulse. Oh, I think Cecilia could use a Resplendent. Maybe she could be like Jotunheimer. That would be pretty cool, actually. Yeah, anytime I say someone needs a Resplendent, I- Oh, alright. Legendary Leaf. Love this guy so much. He's so fun to use. He's great on defense. Oh, I don't- I don't know if he's super good on defense teams anymore, but he's still fun to use. Ooh, plus attack. I think, I think I already have one that's plus attack. Oh no, I think he's plus HP. So this one is a keeper for sure. <laughs> yeah, love this guy. Not disappointed at all. And anyways, I'm just gonna, sp I'm gonna spark for a legendary Seda, so in the end, I still get what I want. Um, not as, the value has not been super good. Especially since this is 8%, I would expect it a little bit higher, or a little more 5 stars, but hey, sometimes that's just how the RNG gods are like. They're just, they're just like, nope, you're only going to get 2, and you're going to spark. Yeah, Ardra. I'm surprised the Ardra does not have a resplendent yet. I could see her having a hell one. That would actually be pretty cool. Uh, either Hell or Embla, those would be the ones I think she would have if she had a resplendent. What was I talking about before the leaf thing? I don't remember. I, I, I'm i sure you guys know already, but my brain is really small, so I kind of forget things a lot. I think we're talking about Cecilia? I don't know. Anyway, let's spark our legendary Sita. Uh, this is always just looks ridiculous to me. It's just so many. Uh, man, I kind of wish I got a Reagan, but really want to try that Sita out. She's super cool. Love her art. Her weapon looks, her kit in general just looks interesting and fun to use. Not sure if it's super me super meta defining or anything but she looks fun to use and that is all i care about i am sita lord excuse me that is king marth's queen i'm still not used to introducing myself like this you'll get used to it all right get that celestial stone all right um that is it with the summoning. Uh, not the best pulls, but as I've said already, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. So, um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's fun to always talk about some Fire Emblem stuff. None of my real life friends really played this game, so I have no one to really talk about this with anyone. So. It's fun to catch up with you guys out there. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. And look forward to more Fire Emblem content in the future. Bye!